Finding the perfect title pack is actually really hard. Imagine walking into a masterly designed room where every piece of furniture seamlessly blends into the overall theme, yet each item holds its own unique charm. Using title packs in your videos is like furnishing this room. While they're indeed title packs, they should blend so well into your content that they don't scream title pack, but rather whisper seamless artistry. Guys, I say again, creating professionally looking titles is an incredibly challenging task. In fact, it's so difficult to perfect that I often advise creatives to forego titles altogether until they've mastered the art of actually crafting impactful ones. It's really important to remember guys that introductory titles are actually the visual gatekeepers of your content, literally setting the tone for what follows. So here's the crucial thing, if they end up falling short and looking really sucky in quality, they can actually lead viewers to prematurely conclude that the rest of the content looks just as bad and then therefore increasing the likelihood of them disengaging and clicking off of the video and just completely just moving on. So guys, I have six title packs that I've personally used and love because they don't scream template. And we're gonna break down each one. And to all the thousands of Olufemi watchers that have clicked the link in the description over the years to get your discounted Envato Elements subscription, this is a simple, free download. And if you have not done that yet, just simply click the link in the description, sign up, and let's get cracking. Every text pack that we go over will be linked in the description. All right, guys, so check this out. This pack, we'll call it text pack one, is probably one of the best title packs I've ever graced my After Effects timeline with and I'm not exaggerating in any way. And the cool thing is it's an After Effects template, so I'm not having to deal with a potentially laggy Premiere Pro Mogart. Check it out, it's got this sleek and smooth elegance to it. And check this out, like I've said in past tutorials, it utilizes a thick font to separate itself from the footage that it's placed on, as opposed to using some type of ugly animated background shape. And guys, if you keep looking closely, you'll see how it incorporates novel looking individual character glitches, as opposed to just a whole universal word glitch. I'm actually really jealous that our team didn't make this pack ourselves. It is almost, it is the perfect pack. All right, so this next pack I admit is probably one of the most weird yet most original packs that I've ever seen. It's basically soap suds that you can formulate into distinguishable text in Premiere Pro simply by typing it into the Mogart text box in the Essential Graphics panel. You can literally add any text that you want into it. The downside is, of course, it's a Mogart, so it can be a little laggy on slower computers. But once you render that thing out, dang, it, it really looks amazing. There's no one watching this right now that would assume that was a template. It looks like it was done in camera. It's crazy. And guys, here's a little secret that no one is gonna tell you, even the makers of this pack. You can actually literally open those same Mogarts that can suck sometimes because they're laggy in After Effects and all that lag just instantly goes away. Don't believe me? Just try it and see. Just right click on the Mogart and say open with After Effects. It's my little trick. The next pack, we'll call it text pack three, is your generic glitch pack. Everyone should have an all-in-one text glitch pack that they refer to when they're searching for just a quick and swift way to apply a quick text distortion during an intro sequence of any kind. Many glitch packs though just go too crazy, they maybe incorporate too many outside graphics, and they often apply the glitch effect for just too long. I've come across this one pack that doesn't do any of that, and I've stuck with it. So the next pack is cute as heck. These 3D creamy milky text and logo animations offer a rather delightful and original approach to make your brand stand out in a playful and very charming manner. I kind of wish that this pack rendered out a little faster on my system. There's admittedly a lot happening in the After Effects timeline, but I still hate waiting on long renders. Another thing I found out about this pack is if you twirl down into the subsequences, you can actually find the cream background layer and turn it off. So you can now use this effect on top of any background that you want. It's pretty cool. Um, I've also found out that turning off the bubble layer looks better too. The crazy thing about this next pack that we're gonna look at is that every element literally looks like handmade stickers, but they're all actually adjustable templates. They're actually Mogarts in Premiere Pro. And while I'm usually complaining about the lagginess of Mogarts, these specific ones actually play through pretty smoothly. All right guys, so this next pack really needs to be addressed. It's just beautiful. I love the individual character by character animated chroma fills and the warm colored vintage effect that they create. And guess what guys, I know that this pack is advertised as a slideshow intro, but you're actually able to use every text effect individually. And you actually have the option of turning the background on and off. And that's it guys, 